citizen. I am the judge. Dread may be the law, but I am the judge. We're gonna do another Commodore 64 game based on Judge Dread here in the lab. It's taken me a little while to get to this one because you may recall when I played the other Commodore 64 games for Judge Dread, I was using the Commodore 64 Mini that I borrowed from Judge Fee. Unfortunately, this game, for whatever reason, wouldn't work on that machine, but I've managed to procure from uh, down on the streets a Retroid Pocket uh, handheld gaming device. On here, I can run other Commodore 64 games, so we're going to try out the Judge Dread game that came from Virgin Mastertronic here on the Retroid Pocket 2 Plus. You might notice during some of the footage there's like a little D-pad or a circle thing in the corner. That's what's causing it. It's this emulator that's causing that. Anyway, let's check it out. Alright, so Justice Central is sending us some instructions of what we need to do. Basically, the mission is the overzealous gluttonous group called the Fatties are eating too much of the food in the Dantana block. And we gotta go on over as Dread to all four food dispensers and shut them down and then get out of this particular level. Unfortunately, I think this is about as much as I'm gonna be able to accomplish with this particular game because it's really, really hard. There are other times you take on the Dark Judges, various other things can occur, but wow, this is gonna be really, really hard. All right, so now, I'm already dead. Meanwhile, Crime rates have risen, and that's no good. All right. You'll notice that there's a lot of uh, citizens who are clearly not the fatties. If you shoot them, the crime rate increases. Let me just get that uh, lower part of the screen out of the way. So we need to merely dispense justice to the fatties and not worry about any of the civilians, except for the civilians wearing a red shirt. They will do damage to dread. So we got to make sure that we are only attacking the fatties as well as anybody wearing a red shirt. A little bit tricky, and those guys always dive bomb down. There are other levels on this game where you can actually get to the uh, Dark Judges, as I mentioned before. There's a few other parts of the game that are... Well, I'm dead again. <laughs> Dread goes to the hospital. You know, we might have to re-attempt this with some of the cheats on, because this is very hard. You'll see that guy just walked past me, that civilian. He's okay, but the other one was coming at me with a reddish-brown sort of an outfit. It's very difficult to maintain both which of the perps, which of the civilians are perps, and which ones are actually just regular civilians. This is no good. Let me uh, reload up where I've got some of the cheats enabled. Okay, and now again with uh, unlimited lives, unlimited energy. Again, we want to just take out these food uh, dispensers. There's four of them on this level, and then get to the exit. And then there would be other things to take on, but honestly, this is hard enough. I think you're only going to see this one level. Seems like that is the case for most people trying to play this game online. So, again, we need to take out all the fatties and not kill, like I just did there, person in purple. I'm going to just walk past this group because this is getting to be a little annoying. But you want to just take these out. As uh, anyone who knows who lives in Mega City 1, there's a rather unnecessarily or un uh, regrettably very mean element to living in this city. The problem that the fatties represent is that they are just taking up too many of the few resources that the city has on offer. And therefore, they are enemies that are to be taken down. Oh, there's a bad guy in a red. I don't know if you saw him there. It's sort of a reddish brown. Apparently on the Amiga version, the red shirt is a lot more obvious. There is one of the food dispensers. I'll just go across it. That is now done. Oh, I got hurt there. And I need to find the other dispensers, the other three. During the normal game, without all the cheats turned on, you can actually find that you need to go... Let's go up. The ramp, yes. The the maps do wrap around. So if I continue in one plane, I will eventually find the other food dispensers. Get, oh no, I killed that guy. Um, 
Without the cheats turned on, what actually happens is, as you kill people, unnecessarily, the crime rate goes up, and if it reaches a certain maximum, as you already saw, Dread ends up in, in hospital, and that's the end for him. It's a very tough game. Okay, there's a food dispenser right there. We gotta get up to that level. I do find one problem with this game. It's almost impossible to go down a ramp. Going up is relatively easy. You just jump. But going down a ramp, almost impossible. Let me just uh, get around here. We'll just jump over this way. In uh, other versions, like the Amiga one I've seen, uh, if you kill the sufficient... Oh, see, I don't want to go down. I don't want to go up that one. There we go. If you kill sufficient bad guys, if you get enough of the perps that are in your way, they will actually drop these uh, power-ups for your lawgiver. Let's get this food dispenser. That's two. But I don't think the uh, power-up lasts very long. It doesn't really seem to be worth pursuing it just to get your weapon powered up. There is also in the instructions, it says that you can select between different weapons. And I've seen power, I've seen uh, playthroughs where people are actually dropping down some kind of flashbang, but I can't seem to get that to work here on the Retroid. Let's continue along. See, oh, whoa, that was a lucky one for you, citizen. You're not wearing brownish red, so I know you're okay. Okay, well, I stunned him. That's not so bad. I don't know what I did to actually make that selection. If I had a real proper Commodore 64 in front of me, I'd be able to select between the different loadouts of my lawgiver a little better, but doesn't seem to be the option with this. There is one other control, and I'll show it to you in one second here. Once I... There's a man in a red shirt. Uh, once I find this other food dispenser, I'll uh, use the other button that's possible... Oh, I got that one. That's too bad. I just want to see if I can find the other food dispenser first. It might be here. It's more likely to be on a level above. I think I'm going to have to go up a ramp. Many have said this is kind of the basic gist of this game. It's not very good. It's not very fun. It's a lot of go over here and find this thing. And then go over there and find that thing. And... Although I will give kudos to the graphics and the overall feeling of being in Mega City 1, I can see that this is just not that much fun. Well, oh, I would say it's better than the uh, awful Commodore 64 game that I've already played before. But it's still pretty rough going. And I'm not a fan of the theme. I think Dread works, moves okay. I think he looks good. It's got all of his outfit correct, including the green gloves and the uh, boots as well. So kudos to them on that one. Man in a brown shirt. I guess it's supposed to be red. Uh, let's call it military red. But there's no background music. There's nothing other than that occasional tapping of like the Morse code, whatever that is. Oh, sorry, citizen. Not a good idea to run in front of a street judge when he's carrying his lawgiver. Yes, you can crouch down. That's sometimes useful. Where's that other food dispenser? Okay, let's go up a level. Of course, then it'll be behind, below me, and then I got some trouble, because I cannot, for the life of me, figure out how to go down a ramp in this game. Oh, there's another food dispenser. Excellent. Okay, so we just got to get one more, and then I've got a bit of a timer, because street crime is constantly going up. If I take too long to, to exit after I find the last food dispenser, it's going to be game over for Dread. Although I've got all that turned off now. Let me uh, show you what happens if I hit space bar using this emulator here, if I can get past these guys. There we go. Dread to bike. Dread's lawmaster arrives. Quickly. Haha. And now I've got my lawmaster and I can drive around and do all kinds of good stuff here. But the problem is, uh, it can't jump apparently. Well, that might be a way to go down some ramps. Uh, secondly, the, um, the level of crime increases a lot faster when Dread is on his bike. So I guess it might be handy as a way to get around, but it's really not worth doing. 
So let's uh, let's find a go a, a ramp heading upward, and then we'll get off the log over here. I just hit the space bar again, and here's another section. All right, let me get out of here. I believe he was going to say something like "Return when I need you," something to that effect. Now we can just find this last food dispenser. At least I can say that I've ended the first game, the first level. Oh, there's the other food dispenser. Wow. Or is that the one that I've already disabled? That's the one I've already disabled, of course. It'll be way up at the top. And then I got a beeline for that exit before the street level, or before the crime level gets too high. And that is not easy to do. Again, imagine this without the cheats turned on. Imagine I was running around taking as much damage as possible. That's, that's the game. That's a flaw. Doesn't make it very fun. The lack of music isn't all that great. This is the Commodore 64. Where are those great chip tunes? Even the awful previous one that I played had somewhat of a grating soundtrack, but at least there was some music playing. Okay, there's the last food dispenser, and then I have to get out of here real quick. Now I'm hoping I can find those ramps that go down. All right, there we go. Down here, down here, down here. Should be another, whoa, no, 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 no. Should be another way to get down and around here somewhere. I don't think I'm gonna make it though. It'll be interesting since I've turned off all of the uh, damaging options, will I just be able to saunter on my way down to where the exit is? I doubt it, but let's see. Ah, perps, get out of my way. Now, I believe on the second level, it's again the sort of another fetch quest. Go and find this thing, and you got people attacking you as you're doing it. Yeah, I don't see another way down. I'm going to have to try and figure out how to go down one of these ramps. This is not going to be easy. All right. It's like a, a crouch or something. Nope. See, all I'm doing is going down there. Oh, this isn't going to work. <laughs> oh, no. I think this is going to be the end of my demo. Unless I can find a, a drop somewhere, like the one that got me down to here. Uh, see? Uh, really, really hard to get down a ramp. Now, let's see if I just walk. Will it just naturally take me down? No, of course not. Hmm. Yeah, unless we can find a drop, citizens, this is going to be the end of my gameplay. And I'm not seeing one. And by this point, definitely the, the level would have ended. Yeah, I need to go down a ramp. That's just not going to happen. Oh, well. There you go. That's uh, what I have at least experienced so far with this version, this Megatronics version of Judge Dredd for the Commodore 64. So what's my final verdict on Mastertronics Commodore 64 game for Judge Dredd? It's a fail. My God, that thing is terrible. I mean... I've already tried the other Commodore 64 Judge Dredd game, and it had annoying background music and awful graphics, but it was a, a, a shade better than this thing. I don't like the fact that there's completely no music at all in this version. It's hard to, to, to determine what your objectives are. I mean, yes, you get the little intro at the beginning saying, go here, uh, take the food processors out, then go to the exit. But outside of that, you got a wandering around just doing nothing on your lawnmaster even. There's absolutely no repercussions for any of that stuff. And I also don't like the fact that I can't tell standard citizens from perps. Like, okay, the fatties, I understand. Yes, that's the main enemy in the first level. And yes, you can see who they are compared to your average citizen walking on the street. But the ones who wear the red outfit, I really can't tell. I mean, it's so hard. You saw me walking past a whole bunch. Also, not thrilled with the fact that it's really complicated and hard to get through one level. I had to turn on the uh, assist mode just to be able to show you enough of the game like that. So, it's definitely a fail. I believe there's another Commodore 64 game, like a homebrew based on Judge Death. Maybe I'll be able to try that out on this when the ROM gets released. We'll see what happens. But until next time, stay out of trouble.